Hi everyone, and welcome to module 2e of my full Python course. If you have not enrolled, please subscribe to the channel. And let's get started on this tricky topic. And we're not going to go too much into it because I'm only going to show you what you really need to know and not all of the behind the scenes tricky details. If you want to understand a little bit more, then that's totally okay. I would look up terms like pass by value in Python versus pass by reference or versus object reference in Python. And you'll get the kind of information that you want to read about. So we're going to explain it with an example. So say we had a function, just for now, it's going to take in a list. Okay, so define f of list, which is going to try to change the first element in the list. So it sets list sub zero equal to five. Well, then if I had some list, maybe call it l equal to one, two, three, and then I called f of l on it, f of l, and then I ask what L is afterwards, then that does change the first value. Okay, so we passed L in here. So then list is basically this list here. And then we set list sub zero equal to be five. Okay, so that means change L here to be five. And so L is five, two, three. Straightforward, right? Well, actually it turns out it's a really tricky concept here. I'm gonna show one step up, which is maybe changing the variable called list equal to something else. Maybe it was equal to four, five, six, and then changing list sub zero to be five. Well, now if list is originally one, two, three, I call f of l, and then what is l? It is totally unchanged. And actually we've seen this before. If we actually change this exact same variable name, well, list was one, two, three, except now, I'm not changing this thing to be four, five, six. I'm not changing L over here to be four, five, six. I am saying in this function, this variable is going to be four, five, six. And therefore, if I do list sub zero, then if I set that equal to five, that changed over here. This thing is now gonna be five in memory, except that doesn't matter. That's not L. And so nothing actually happened to L outside. All right, so now, we can see that you can change the values within a list by actually accessing stuff before, like at list sub zero is equal to five. If I had that, I could also do stuff like list dot append with four. Okay, so I can I can change L again like this dot append. But now think about if you were trying to do this with an integer. Okay, so if I had if I pass this as a value, so this is val, then there's no way if I had say value out here equal to say one, and I call f of l, regardless of what I do over here, there is nothing I can possibly do to change the value of val of value here. Okay, I cannot change this value no matter what I do with value, it is going to be one because I can't do stuff like val sub zero. Well, that doesn't make sense because it's an integer and I can't do stuff like dot append. Well, that doesn't make sense. And I, if I even set val equal to something else, well, all that we just saw that all that does is overwrites the variable name in val. And so no matter what value here is going to be one. So it doesn't matter what I do, say set this thing equal to five, it's still going to be one. One other concept here, go back to the list thing for a moment. If we have f of a list again, and we set x equal to this list, okay, x is some new variable name, and we're setting it equal to that thing. And then what I do is x sub zero is equal to five. And over here, I'm going to go back to saying list is equal to, say, the list of one, two, three and then f of list, and then output list. Okay, so now what we did is we wrote f of list, which all it does is make this variable x equal to list. What does that do? It's actually a tricky question. Does this say, okay, x is, you can picture this thing in memory somewhere. So the list of one, two, three, this thing called list, it's in memory. It says one, two, three. If we have X equal to this list of one, two, three, it could do one of two things. 
does it a copy it meaning x is now this separate one two three list or is um or is it actually the exact same list as before because remember this is floating somewhere in memory one two three is x copying those values and putting it elsewhere and having its own copy or is it saying it is this exact same position in memory it is one the list of one two three the same list of one two three that is the really crucial topic here and so the answer can be shown just with an example if you run this i am saying the list of one two three then i call f of list and then i ask what list is it is five two three meaning it got changed so what happened here is when i set this new variable name equal to this list it didn't copy it it said okay i am also going to refer to this very specific list of one two three and so if you try to use my name and say i'll edit the first thing in the list and i'll set it to equal to five that is going to change this list because it is th that is this list right here it's going to change this exact same thing because they are the exact same thing because of that sorry i just realized that i didn't explain the title so i said mutation and functions mutation is generally a term for the side effect idea where if we have the list of one two three then it is mutating so this function mutates this list because it is actually changeable so or it is changing something of the content in here as opposed to something that is immutable which if i was to make this a tuple instead and so this is why you would use a tuple is if you really didn't want this thing to be able to be changed then if i try to change it with this function then what happens and i know that i called this list even though it's i'm passing it a tuple actually it turns out that i mean this is fine for the example I call that and it says tuple object does not support item assignment and so meaning it is immutable it is an immutable object because it is this thing in memory once it exists you cannot change it you cannot mutate it as opposed to a list which is a mutable object and we'll see more of this idea later so that is the topic of today if you want to understand more there then again read about pass by reference object reference that kind of thing in python but that should be good for all of what we're going to do and I will see you in module 2F.